banking problems. In Welcome back to the Chrome 4 Morning News. Watching Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. And stocks on the rise right now. The Dow up almost 40 points, sitting at 14,551. The big overnight news is that the European Union reached a bailout agreement for Cyprus. Should we all be cheering? The Cypriots aren't. Yes, um, it shows us that the banking problems in Europe can be just that, problems and not crises. Things aren't spreading like wildfire. Americans aren't panicking on the snooze. In fact, some American banks will pick up some business likely. Um, the losers here are the rich in the island of Cyprus. Uh, the winners are some of the smaller depositors that kind of gave a bailout that protected the insurance that was supposed to be there in the first place. I think what scares people with this uh, with this story is that uh, people who had money in the banks, they're taking a haircut. They're taking some of their bank deposits away, a percentage of them. Could that ever happen here? I'm not going to say never. Okay. So far, it hasn't. If it did, there would probably be riots that Kron would be uh, talking about. There'd be run on banks. There'd be cars flipped over on fire. Um, hasn't happened yet, but will it? certainly could. Uh, you just never want to go above the limits on the FDIC insurance inside the United States or the accordingly amounts that are covered by European banks overseas. Let's talk about the uh, battle for Dell. So you got Michael Dell yep. trying to take his company private. Now you've got Blackstone, you got uh, or Icon, right? Carl Icon. They're all Icon trying to buy this company. What's going on here? Um, I don't get it. Uh, on the outside to you and me, it looks like a company that's sinking. It looks like they've got the wrong product. They're in the PC business. They're not in the tablet business. Um, the offer has always been sitting higher than what um, Michael Dell offered at 1365. Now we're seeing 14 and a quarter, $15 a share. He founded a PC provider in his Texas dorm room and uh, hasn't changed terribly well with the times. And you know, the big winner here is HP. They're going around saying, you know, we don't even know who's going to own Dell in the future. <laughs> um, do business with us. We're going to be around. Uh, so this is a big win for Meg Whitman. For Dell, I just. It's like investing in the 1990s haircut. It's a bad <laughs> idea. Ice, okay. ice baby. I, I just find it crazy that you know the other two deals don't even have Michael Dell in it, and he's revived this company like four or five times. He has said that he's willing to stick around and, and work with any successor. So um, it's not that he's not in it. It's that you know the writing was on the wall. He took the first step. The board of directors at Dell are doing the right thing. They're reviewing bids. They're saying, okay, the Carl Icon, the company could still be publicly traded. There's a role for Michael Dell. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's probably not best for him, but it's probably better for shareholders the way it's playing out. Okay, anything else exciting you're watching this week? Yahoo bought a mobile news startup for by that was started by a 15-year-old child. <laughs> and I say 15-year-old child, child yeah. lovingly. <laughs> and uh, that's about all I have. All right, we got a short trading week, right? Good Fridays this Friday, so. You're correct, sir. All right, so maybe the S&P could hit a record high. Uh, this Today we're looking at, oh, okay. we, uh, we're in that area right off the open. Can we hold it? We've been fading on Mondays, so we'll see. All right, thank you, Rob. We'll check back with Rob at 9.15 for winners and losers on Wall Street. James Starr. All right, thank you.